Well, hello, darlings. It's Miss Tia here. I've got a few questions and a few things I want to talk about today. And this might take me a little bit longer than my normal talks with you guys, but I've got some things to talk about, and they're pretty serious to Miss Tia. Now, you guys might think, oh, I'm just an old catty talking cat. And you don't pay no mind to what Miss Tia has to say. But let's forget I'm a talking cat right now, and let's just think about the topics and the words, okay? Now, I'm going to start off with this scam -a thon that everybody's been talking about. And looks like Miss Tiffany Marie done had her another live today where she goes on and rants and drags everybody she can. She demands people show receipts, text messages, phone messages, recordings, Discord messages, you name it. She wants your receipts for everything now. And you know, the only receipt I've ever seen from Miss Tiffany was that fake check, but she don't want nobody talking about that fake check because that's old news. That's old news. That was just a troll, she said on Molly Go Lightly. But I guarantee you if anybody else had ever trolled and used the name of Summer Wells, she'd be having her a fit now. But anyways, you know, the old news fake check, it's not really any older than the news of this, quote, scam -a -thon now. Right? Am I right? I think that came before that check. So, it's been talked about in a couple of chats. I saw Deets on the streets did a talk about this when, I think that she might have been talking about Jody Sue, but somehow it ended up with her and Chasing Truth, or what, Tracy Ann, I think that's what she goes by now. They were talking and it was said that back during that scam -a -thon, you know, when Mr. Brad, a.k.a. Chase 423, you know, he, he went to jail. And um, when he went to jail, it was because it was a probation violation. Now, to get a probation violation, that means that you have been convicted of something. Mr. Brad was convicted of theft. He was a thief, and it was known that he was a thief. All right? And when he went to jail... Tiffany and Penny, they knew that Mr. Brad had been convicted of theft. He was a thief. But Tiffany said to Penny, don't tell anyone. We can't let anyone know this. And Penny said, my lips are sealed. And the two of them kept that a secret until a month later when the whole billboard thing blew up. And they couldn't hide anymore, so they had to come out and call Brad for what he was. But guess what happened during that month that they kept their secret? Many of the people in our community gave their hard-earned money to this fundraiser. Mr. Brad himself had a line waiting for him at one of the vigils where he took cash from people. He had a P.O. box. What came in the P.O. box? I don't know, but, you know, could he have been taking things out of there before anybody else knew? Those two ladies, Tiffany Marie and Penny, allowed a secret to be kept from this community for an entire month. They knew that Brad was no good, that he was a thief. But yet... They didn't tell anybody. And not only did Tiffany not tell anybody, but she promoted that man like he had fallen from heaven himself. Mm-mm. mm mm Something's not right about that. Something's not right at all. Maybe that's why she didn't send that $1,500 check. Because she thought Brad would have stole it. I don't know. I don't know. But that ain't right. And it really is not right that she can get on her channel and she can call out everybody. Knowing the rotten things that she has done. Mm-mm. Miss Tia ain't having that. And you know something else that Miss Tiffany did just this morning? Today is Sunday, July 16th, 2023. Well, Miss Tiffany paraded herself over to her man's chat. You know, she had to go and, and support Mr. Benny while he went on one of his many early morning, Sunday morning preaching sessions where he preaches to everybody, but the man ain't never followed a word he's ever preached. Him and Tiffany about the same caliber. They won't tell everybody else what to do. But 
They don't follow none of that stuff. None of it. They're behind the scenes doing some shady stuff, people. Shady. So she's over in that chat, and there's a lady named Donna, I believe. Ask her, Tiffany, what have you done for Summer Wells? Well, y'all want to know what Tiffany's response was. She said what she does for Summer Wells is between her and God. Now, remember, this is the same person who demands receipts from everybody. She demands everybody give an account to anything that has to do with Summer. She even puts Summer's name in things that don't have nothing to do with Summer. Because she's going to make sure you're going to walk that line. When she about falls down, she can't even stand up straight on the line. That's how shady she is. So, Miss Tiffany, Miss Tiffany Marie, honey, I don't think what you do for Summer Wells, you do or do not do for Summer Wells, is between you and God. Honey, I think that's between you and the devil. <laughs>